So, Joni B, what is your opinion on education? <laughs> education. Um, it's needed. Really, I don't care. You don't need to be stupid or ignorant. Um, we all need to learn to read. So, there is a problem. A big, huge problem. If you watch, if you know me, if you watch anything that I've said, anything that I write, anything I talk about, I'm about relationships. Education is relationships. It is student teacher there needs to be a relationship as in the teacher should care about the student um but then here you go the student should respect the teacher growing up if i would have told my teacher no or did anything even if i came home and i i always got x's in conduct because i talked too much hmm, go figure so but you know, I come home and you have that little thing and it's Joni talks too much. Joni visits with her neighbor too much. Well, that wasn't the teacher's fault that I did that. Um, but now, guess whose fault that is? Um, it's the teacher's fault. So, yeah, but I had to respect my parents. They were like, uh-uh, that person's up there trying to teach you and you need to pay attention. Mm -mm. not now that doesn't happen and I have a I have a degree surprise look at there you guys you might not have known that I actually have a degree in education so then I think I can talk to you about education education is again power and who has the best? If you are from a more influent family, supposedly you get better education. I don't think so. Um, but I've been in many classes now as a substitute. And let me tell you, it is not the teacher anymore who runs that classroom. It is the students. So moms, dads, your kids are not getting the education that they need because they don't have a degree in education but they have to they have put the teacher in an awkward position teachers can't correct and i mean i'm talking in a positive way a child can be corrected they don't need to be screamed at yelled at um but i was in one classroom and this was just this past year and they were third graders and it was raining outside and it came recess time because you know their teacher had recess in the um, plan it's raining they wanted recess oh nope sorry it's raining guys you know your teacher already gave this different plan we're gonna do this guess what they started chanting are you kidding me third graders recess, recess, recess. I really, I just sat down and just watched them. And I could not believe that third graders were acting like this. Yeah. There's probably a lot I could say about that, but it might hurt your feelings. So I won't go there. Um, I actually taught school. And now this school was a people paid money. Now, it might not have been the parents who paid the money for the kids to go to the school. It was probably grandparents or aunts or uncles because it was not in um, a very good area. And taught there. Now, my specialty is K through 6, but then I have an additional education degree with special education K through 12. But I was put into science. So I taught sixth grade science, but because it was a private school and unfortunately they weren't a accredited school, I taught science for eighth and ninth grade. 
you didn't have a budget for anything, so any kind of activities came out of the teacher's pocket. But every day you went into the classroom, it was a battle. It was, I came home every day and cried. Uh, my sixth graders were my only ray of sunshine during that school year. Um, eager to learn, eager to do stuff. But the others, it was a battle. And, you know, when you put, you're putting your own money, your own time, um, because I'm looking at eighth grade, ninth grade, you know, what can we do to make science exciting? Man, I was getting in there trying to come up with different activities that would stimulate their learning, that would excite them, putting my own money out there um, so they could have fun things to do. Well, they didn't like it. They didn't want to do it. It was too much work. And boy, by the halfway through the year, I really came to the point where I didn't want to spend my money because now I'm spending not what I'm making money, but my family money that my husband was making um, to do things. So the activities kind of dwindled down to nothing. But it was always something. And when you go to correct a class or they fail the test, this is the good one. Here you go. So you get a phone call. Um. This is a name, but not the real name. Johnny came home and has an F on the test. Why? Johnny has never failed a test before. They're so, he's so upset. Well, maybe Johnny didn't study for the test. But I had another system with them. If you came to me after the test, you made an F on it, you could retake it. You could retake it one time, two times, three times. You could keep taking it until you pass the test. But nope, you got an F, you're gonna keep an F, okay. And I explained to the parent, well, they could retake the test if they want. And then another thing, we're talking 8th grade, ninth grade. At this particular school, you had to put all their work on the board on Monday. This is what's going to happen. This is what homework you're going to have. So Friday, you got to turn this in, right? Well, in my mind, you don't turn it in by Friday. That's a zero. That's a zero. You knew Monday. It's Friday. You didn't do your work. Got called in. Miss Beaver. Now that's a little drastic. Now, you shouldn't give them a zero. Why shouldn't I give them a zero? They didn't do the work. Well, you don't understand. Okay. So now you need to go in there and apologize to them and tell them you're sorry that you gave them zeros. That's going to help them in life, right? So when they grow up, if they decide to go to college or, yeah, if they decide to go to college, what are they going to do? Go to their professor? I'm so sorry. I just didn't want to do that work. Because let me tell you, college professors, they don't care. They really don't care. They're just making money and you're in their class. If you choose to do the work, do the work. If you don't, they don't care. They really don't care. Um, so... I just felt that that was really handicapping. Handicapping, that's a, that, I can't even say that word right. Boy, I need an education. Um, I was doing a disservice to the students um, to just keep it apologizing and letting them do whatever they want because that didn't help them become successful adults. Um, I've seen some of those on um, Facebook and some of them aren't successful adults. So, education needs a lot of work. We need to go back to caring about teaching, teaching them to read. There's not one way either. Every student doesn't read the same way. And it's easy, teachers. I don't care if you have 25 students in your class. You can be creative to where you have one assignment, but you have three methods of them to learn. Um, 
and it actually would make your life a whole lot easier if you did that. Um, so I guess I could go on and on about education, but that's probably a multi-faceted talk. But we do need a lot of work on education. So, peace out. That's been Jody Humble Opinion. God bless America.